In May of 1871, General of the Army, William Tecumseh Sherman, goes to Texas and starts out at Fort Clark, accompanied by Randolph Barnes Marcy, an old pathfinder from before the Civil War days, uh, and an escort of 17 African-American soldiers from the 10th Cavalry. This small party will then make its way from Fort Clark out to Fort McCavitt, and then up to Fort Griffin, then over to Fort Richardson, right along the Texas frontier, and see what they see about the situation in Texas. Now, they go along that line of march, uh, actually pass right through Buffalo Gap in the region around Abilene, head right up through uh, Young County, and as they're passing through Young County along what is known as the Salt Creek Prairie, the military wagon uh, party goes east, heading towards Fort Richardson, and passes a civilian freighting train heading west. Freighting train of about seven big freight wagons. Um, they wave at each other, ex exchange pleasantries, and don't think much of it. What Sherman does not realize is that he has passed within maybe a quarter of a mile of several hundred Kiowa warriors, all well hidden behind a small hill near the Salt Creek. Well, Sherman leaves and escapes this ambush because this party, led by Satanta, Satank, and Big Tree, are listening to the advice of their shaman, Owl Prophet. And Owl Prophet told everybody, now nah, don't get the guys in the blue suits. Look, they don't even have very good stuff. Not very many wagons. They seem to be uh, well armed. It would be a fight for not much gain. Let them go. There's bigger quarry coming. So Sherman escapes, but the civilian freighting teams do not. And in fact, the cow will boil out from around that hill and wipe them out with one exception. Literally, as Sherman is busy enjoying his dinner, one of the surviving Teamsters comes staggering into Fort Richardson, arrows in his back saying, there's Indians out there. Well, Sherman all of a sudden figures out, I came within a few minutes of having my hair on some Indian lodge post up north of the Red River. Now, even though this would have made thousands of Georgians very happy, it makes Sherman very mad. Uh, and Sherman says, all right, Clearly, there is some violence going on, especially along the northwest Texas frontier. We're going to solve this. He calls for McKenzie. McKenzie says, yes, sir, what may I do for you? And moves his troops over from Fort Concho to Fort Richardson and gets ready for campaign. 